lay offs are a part of our career now and in a career span of 30 to 35 years you will definitely face one or two instances where there will be lay offs so i recently got a message which i want to share with you this is a real example of how somebody was able to identify that there are lay offs going to happen in their department so this message goes like this hi anand i want to update you regarding my new job and the decision making that went behind it i think the last time i connected with you i was not very sure about leaving my comfortable job at this particular company for so many years and move to a new role however there were few red flags such as reduced projects few team members leaving the team and the promotion being denied in spite of good performance hence i resigned and moved to a new job but within few weeks of me moving out of the firm 70% of the team got fired including the head and some of the team members this sent shock waves as people couldn't see what was coming at such a reputed firm i could take informed decisions as i could anticipate the danger this was possible due to the content you share on social media to read between the lines i really thank you for your contributions and sharing your experiences with us so this is a message which i got and i wanted to share with this with you because in my videos i am able to give you generic flags or signs that you should observe but in this particular case this person has picked up real specific signals there are so many signals around us but this person was able to pinpoint and figure out that okay this is not working right i need to really look outside so this person was in a comfortable job and for so many years this person moved himself out and started to search proactively while 70% of the team did not do it so my request to all of you is please don't be a part of the 70% who is sitting in the comfort zone even if you are in the comfort zone please identify what can go wrong and take the right actions because that will help you avoid a lot of panic and stress in your life and a very simple way to do this is ask yourself a question do i really have work assigned to me for the next 3 months or 6 months so whatever is the nature of your project it can be a support or an operations or it can be a development architect level project ask yourself how long is this project going to run where is the funding coming from is this important for the customer or is this important for my company and do i see money being invested in this kind of work for the next x months which can be 3 months or 6 months that's the best way to identify whether this work will remain or not okay because sometimes some projects are good to have which means they are not must haves which means companies can stop them if those projects are stopped nothing goes wrong for the companies so they are not must have projects they are good to have projects must have projects are projects where it is important that investment is made because without these projects companies cannot run their business or operations so please understand what kind of projects are you working for if your project is important for the company they will continue to invest and there will be no red flags but at the same time please also observe whether the company is getting new projects or not whether the profits are intact or not whether senior people are leaving if lot of senior people leave all of a sudden then it's a red flag there are so many things that you can observe within your own company and in your client organization and it will give you indicators of what can go wrong in the next few months it is not a rocket science at all and if you are in a support function which means if you are in hr team you are in training team you are in quality team uh, you are in admin department you are in a finance function all these functions are support functions which means they are important for the company they are needed for the company to run the business but they are not directly contributing to the revenue or to the profit okay very few of them contribute directly okay so if you are in one of these functions then there are high chances that if any cost cutting has to happen it will probably happen first in the support functions okay so please be very practical about this entire thing I wanted to share this example with you because I got this message a lot of people uh, just look at the thumbnail and they run away without even listening to what is inside the video but I hope if you have stayed here till now you found value so let me know what you think about it in comments if you are also able to identify certain flags which I have not mentioned please mention them in the comments
so other listeners are able to learn from your experiences okay with this i'll take your leave if you are new please subscribe and hit the like button and do not forget to share this in your whatsapp groups i'll see you in another video soon take care and bye for now